Assalamu alaikum. I'm Najma. Today I'm going to present the assignment case study of the project course that is a part of project management at Open University of Malaysia in collaboration with Simat University. Uh, this course facilitated by Dr. Yonis Ali. Uh, this project is a construction apartment in Wadajir district implemented by Somali company called Starzom. The duration was one year. The purpose of this assignment was to provide project manager in this field a necessary work to perform uh, the skills comprehensive management by 10 knowledge areas. In this assignment, I'm going to tell you how to apply five of these 10 knowledge area, like scope, cost, time, quality, and risk. Uh, project cost management, the main purpose of the, uh, this cost management is to divide major deliverable into the smaller, more manageable component for easy execution. But bearing complete scope management to plan collecting inform uh, information requirement from the uh, client or project team, then the project manager can easily define the process of the scope management. Then to manage this, uh, you can create a WBS, for example, in this construction phases uh, WBS and this is the and then the time uh, validate or implement the scope finally you make uh, you need to make uh, the scope control plan and the project cost management is mainly concerned with the cost and resources required to complete the schedule uh, and project activity during the implementation state. And this included the cost using a tendering construction and maintaining support in the result of the project by using this cost plan and need to follow these processes. Plan cost and estimate cost, determine cost and control. Uh, then you need the project cost management and uh, schedule, including the process required to manage uh, the timely completion of the project by following these uh, processes. And, and to effective the schedule management, then the project manager can easily define and make the activity sequence based on the implementation to estimate the activity resource and duration. After that, it will, uh, and you can <coughs> develop the complete schedule, the finally uh, and you require to prepare as shown this table. And quality management involves the skills uh, performing and managing the team be uh, people to achieve qualitative goal with an effective cost and time frame, which will result in the production of high quality and service. Uh, project management can prepare the effective plan by using this plan, uh, these three plan manage and control quality. The quality journey. Uh, in this process of quality journey, one of the simplest process to follow, you need to sit uh, with a customer or client to ask a requirement and to get the project specification. After that, you can prepare quality assurance activity and get quality plan. And then you can prepare uh, the control plan that gives you complete model uh, BDCA, plan, do, check and act model. And project risk management is ongoing process that continues throughout the process of the life cycle of the project, including uh, this process making a complete risk management plan by identifying and collecting available risk uh, in, the manage, uh, in the previous project or risk assumptions. Then you can analyze the using qualitative and quantitative analysis. Uh, then project manager can make assessment, risk assessment, uh, like impact and probability or likelihood of the project identify risk by collecting all necessary information to the risk register. In this risk register and uh, used by Sarzone project manager, it gives you all information about identified risk. Then you can complete a plan. After that, you can implement the risk plan by making a regular monitoring and control. In this case study, there are three biggest hurdles that you can cover. These, uh, challenges, these three challenges are the first availability of the construction material uh, on building modern apartments, including decoration and some construction machine and proper BAEs, those needed uh, order from the outside of the country. The second uh, was the last minute change in scope. The client requested to add additional floor 
floors after construction activity started. The last safety and security. Since one of the project manager was uh, foreign and he needed to hire a security guards that caused the delays during the implementation. Since Somalia is not a secure place. This is the end of the presentation. Thank you for your listening.